Well, hello there, my internet friends. Today we're doing something different. Today we're doing some science, and we're gonna use my 1970 Pontiac Le Mans to do it. Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with the car, 455, turbo 350, 336 rear end gears with a posi, so it'll do a big old smoky burnouts and make some great American noises when it does it. But today, what I wanna test is something I've heard from old timers my entire life, is if you got a tire that's out around, that's got some flat spotting on it, all you gotta do is just go do some big old smoky burnouts and it'll fix it. I guess the thinking is maybe you're gonna burn off the flat spot of the tire, or you're gonna get it so hot that it just re-rounds itself. I don't know, it's worth a try. These tires are pretty new. They don't have a lot of mileage on them, but they have sat for a long time. They actually sat on my 1968 Le Mans for a number of years in the backyard of the shop uh, before they got transferred over onto these wheels uh, for this car. So I'm gonna get this thing fired up. I'm gonna go for a little bit of a drive. We're gonna talk about what I'm talking about. I'm gonna bring it in, take these wheels and tires off. I'm gonna check them and see exactly where they are now. So we have a baseline, because we're doing this scientific. And then, we're gonna go do some burnouts. At least one, we'll see how well it goes. Uh, and then I'm gonna bring it back, take the wheels back off, and we're gonna test it one more time and see whether or not my burnouts fixed any of my flat spotting issues. I don't know the answer to this. I truly have no idea. This could be, <laughs> this could be just for the fun of it, but it's gonna answer a question, and then we're gonna have more knowledge, and that's important. Yeah, makes sense? Okay, cool. Uh, let me go grab my keys, let me fire this thing up, let's go for a drive. Um, let's do some science. necessary yes the choke is not hooked up so I've got to you know get it to idle all right so wheel and tire balancing wise when you're doing it on a spin balancer it's gonna be measuring just that wheel and tire assembly as it is with a road force balance it's going to actually apply pressure to that tire and you're going to be able to get a much better understanding of where that tire is and what your balance is and if there's anything that you can do to force match those two where you match the weight of the wheel versus the weight of the tire uh, also if you have any hard spots or flat spots in those tires it'll be more prevalent in a road force balance than it would in a normal balance now what you're going to feel when you have a flat spot on a car on a tire is you're going to feel a vibration as it gets to that part of the tire that's not quite round or it's a different impact on that tire where you're going to feel that is in the rear end if it's a rear if it's a tire that's out of balance in the rear or in the front where you could actually see my hand moving or even possibly the hood of the car. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this, but there's a rhythmic vibration that comes through the steering wheel and that you can even see in the hood. These tires are, are balanced. They, as far as the spin balance goes, these tires are balanced. Um, however, both my fronts and my rears are out as far as a road force balance goes. So what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna get this car back to the shop, we're gonna put it on the rack. I'm gonna pull these rear tires off specifically, and we're gonna run them on the spin balance to see where they balance out and make sure that they're balanced quick as far as weight goes. And then I'll run them on a road force balance to show you what that difference is. And then, Put them back on the car. We'll go do some big smoky burnouts. Take them back off the car and check that spin balance again. See if does doing big smoky burnouts help alleviate road force vibration and flat spotting on tires. 
as the old hats would have you think. Is it true? Let's find out. Yes, I could use power tools. No, I'm not going to. And yes, we put extended studs on this thing. As you can see from the wheel weights, these wheels and tires have already been balanced. Uh, they were balanced just a little bit ago when I picked up these new wheels, but as I said, these are old tires. So we're gonna spin balance these real quick and see exactly where the balance comes out. And then as you can see here, this is our road force balancer. So this actually rolls and will put pressure on the tread and we can actually read that impact vibration with the road force balancers. But first, Let's balance it standard style. We'll go off a of road force. We're gonna to go to just normal old balance. We'll see where this comes out. So balance is okay and okay, which means it's properly balanced. Now, let's throw this thing against the road force. It's going to want to verify tire pressure. And you'll see this arm swing down and make contact with the tire. Excessive road force detected. Measure rim run out to press outer data set, blah, 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 blah. So it scored a 49. You probably can't see this. 49 on yield road force balancer. We're going to make sure that the wheel is not messed up, but we know it's not because it's a brand new wheel. Now what that told us is pretty much what we already knew. The wheel is totally fine. It's round, it's not weighted any, any weird, everything's fine with that. The tire assembly, however, is way, 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 way out. And even after doing a force matching, which is getting the force of the wheel and force of the tire matched up or offset as best we possibly can, it's still gonna end up with a 47 road force, which is still hilariously bad. So, this tire is bad. Now the question is, if we go do a burnout or two, does it fix or improve this? Don't know. We're gonna toss the other tire on here real quick just to check it, see exactly where it is as well before we do this, and we'll go from there. Again, just so we're on the up and up here, tire balances out perfectly. The balance is fine. So your normal tire shop would say, you're ready to rock and roll. That's why this matters. Balance is good. See where road force comes back. Okay. 
the road force on this one actually comes back all right. So balance is good. Road force is only an eight, which is actually excellent. So let's toss this back on the driver's side. We had eight on the driver's side, 49 on the passenger side. Let's go do some big stinky burnouts and see what happens. Maybe it fixes itself, maybe it doesn't, but that's science. Test and verify. All right, let's go do some burnouts. Now I'm not a savage. I am gonna get this thing up to temp. I do still feel that little vibration in the rear. It's unfortunately part of this process. We'll see if this fixes it, I don't know. But we're gonna make sure we get it up to temp, make sure the oil pressure's good, make sure water temps are good, and then I'm gonna scientifically test my theory. Let's uh, get her back on the rack, pull wheels off, see if we did any uh, balance fixing. What do you guys think? Is this an old wives tale or an old uh, old mechanics tale or is it something that actually will work? I don't know. I honestly don't know. We'll see. Science. Remember, we're doing this for science. Slightly not square on the rack. <laughs> All right, place your bets, place your bets. Tires mounted up, road force. Of course, it's going to want to check the pressure. Would you see that? Huh. The tire's actually kind of warm, actually, still. So, did we prove it? We tested it before. It was at 49. I drove around a little bit, did a big old smoky burnout. Maybe it actually works. Maybe burning that one spot off the tire that was a little flat. Maybe it actually works. That's science, folks. I mean, I'm willing to go test it again. If you guys don't believe in the results, I pulled off the passenger side rear tire, which is the one that scored the bad number. 
as you can see. So, I don't know. Did we prove it? I think it might be. I'm surprised. What about you? Let me know. Should I retest it again? Just, you know, double check and verify. Or do we think we, uh, we trust my results? Let me know what you think. Thanks for being here. This is Automotive Adventures with Austin, my own little personal corner of the YouTube internet, uh, where I work on my own cars and projects and things on the nights and evenings and weekends when I get a chance, and uh, share it with you guys here on the internet. So hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, click on the subscribe button. Love to see you again on another video. Uh, please, hopefully you've already clicked the like button, and thanks for making it this far. See you in the next one, guys. Take care. I love you. Bye-bye.